Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. If it don't belong, don't make it fit. Alright, um, these readings are going to be called Repeat or Evolve because we're doing a three-year back loop in time. So, whatever you was doing three years ago, are you going to repeat it or are you going to evolve? I'm not going to tell you what's going on in the outside world. You already know. And I do feel like you're starting out in a very good place here, Scorpio. Four of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Two of Cups. There's something that you've wanted here. It's stable. It's solid. It's a home. And with the Two of Cups here, there could possibly be someone else involved. And you win. I mean, it's as simple as that. Whatever you tried to manifest here, you did it. Which means that you have chosen to evolve. Ah, yes. The lovely bunch of coconuts is what's crossing you. Your love for another. That is your challenge. Queen of Cups and the lovers. With the King of Wands and Cancerian Energy. Gemini, Cancer, and somebody awfully good looking that goes after what they want. Most recent past. The Magician. It's magically delicious. Going on with your bad self. I mean, solid offer in the past. Somebody came riding right in. Virgo, Gemini, Energy. Cancer also. But I feel like maybe you were expecting more than you got. But you still love this person anyway. You are expecting... You were expecting something that was a little more solid. In the immediate future, I have a brand new passionate beginning here. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands... Schwang and the world card. So like I said, I feel like this is a second chance. Some kind of second chance at love. Some kind of second chance at something you truly, truly want. And it's coming back around. And I'm getting that song, um... What It's Like by Everclear. Then you... Then you really might know what it's like to have to choose. You may want to listen to that song. Because there is, there, there's, a, there's a real choice here. A big one. Hanged man as the factors affecting the situation with the King of Cups and the Three of Cups. There are three people here. And somebody's making a choice. This choice is a new beginning. A brand new passionate beginning. King and Queen of Cups. But there is also somebody else here. And somebody is, is enlightening themselves or deciding... Holding themselves up on purpose. Deciding on what comes next. Because this choice could be a big one. It could be marriage. It could be home. It could be the Ten of Pentacles. There's that brand new beginning. The Fool. Finding your zero point and moving from there instead of going from where you were 
three years ago. Same King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like you're moving in a different direction. You're not repeating what you did three years ago. Good job, Scorpio. Hopes and fears. I get it. You want justice. For whatever hurt you. We got temperance. We have the nine of wands and justice. Okay. So. You're hoping that you don't rush things here. Even though it appears to be everything you want. You're balancing it out. You're remembering the pain it might have cost you. And you're choosing your own justice here over the Nine of Wands. And the Knight of Swords, which is somebody who's rushing you into a situation that maybe shouldn't be rushed. Like I said, there's a lot of fast movement energy here. Queen of Swords and the Hierophant. Somebody is saying, I want the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you, you, or I will cut you out. I do feel like you're telling this person if there is somebody else in their life. Ooh, these are some, these, these are some abrupt, right to the point communication with whoever this person is with possibly a third party this is this is cut it cuts deep right to the point and it's kind of harsh I'm not gonna lie it's kind of harsh but it does tell me that whoever you are out there you know what you want you know what you don't want and what you don't want is to repeat the same pattern over again that got you stuck three years ago. The magician, what is that all about? Page of Cups, like I said. Something that cut deep. Three of Cups, three of Swords. There were more than two people involved here. What is this Four of Wands about, Spirit? What is this Four of Wands about? I feel like I feel like this is something, like I said, then you really might know what it's like to have to choose. Okay. I'm getting old music here. Oh, okay. So we got the player player. In it for a good time, not a long time. I feel like somebody's going to make an excuse up about work here. Because they're just not sure. Due to the Nine of Wands that has already taken place in this situation before. They got you stuck up in your head, Scorpio. You're still choosing love. Regardless of the situation. But it is also your challenge here. Because you don't see where this is going. Yeah. So we got the Ace of Wands again as the challenge as well as in the immediate future. This this message is going to come in. All right, you may be getting a raise. You may be getting some kind of a new start in finances. Which is going to be on top of this passionate new beginning with someone someone that possibly hurt you nine of pentacles nine of wands which you want to go and be this is what this eclipse is asking you because as I said before this is a back loop of three years. 
where were you three years ago and what was going on because you've got a brand new passionate beginning here and a, and a leap of faith if you choose it and you may walk away from a belief system that you had in the past about marriage, about home, about family, and what that means to you. Wow. You just ain't sure, Scorpio. This full moon is illuminating something that you had to fight for. All right or may have to fight for and you're just not sure if you want to go down that road again Gemini Pisces energy here Saturn does go direct in Pisces on the fourth that is your time loop what is this hanged man about spirit what is this hanged man about yeah what kept you in the dark this is the factors affecting the situation. Grief, sadness, mourning, depression, and how fast it happened because of the Two of Swords. Outside influence is the Page of Wands. This is a message coming in from possibly someone younger than you who's been spying on you, that's in love with you, but has been juggling too, too many energies. This could be a Virgo who is watching you glow up and get what you want. And they're confused about their Ten of Pentacles. They're confused about what they want. But they are spying on you very heavily. Whether that be on social media or just in, in, could be even real life, guys. I got a stalker. I know what that's like. Um, so they're still doing the Two of Pentacles dance. This person is not stable. I feel like you are. Are you going to juggle your stability for... Another person, Libra, Sagittarius, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, on the board. Okay, what is this temperance, this nine of wands, and this justice about, and this justice on justice? Hope or fear? Justice on justice, the nine of wands. Balancing out that pain that you had to endure. Possibly by eight of cups in that ass. Walking away. Because in the immediate future, yes, this is a brand new beginning. It is a brand new passionate beginning. But you feel like you gotta fight for it because of there being three people involved. You shouldn't have to fight for love. It should come naturally. If you feel like you're you're having to fight for love due to a sexual urge or something of that nature, maybe you need to re-examine it and how it made you feel in the past. How did it make you feel, that page of cups? So the seven of pentacles... Is growth moving on? You win, okay? So, by the end of this reading, you have definitely Queen of Swords and eclipsed out the things that hurt you, and you're getting justice for that now because possibly that person is coming back and groveling and begging for you to take them back because they can't get out of their depression mode because of what they've done in the past. Now, they're, this is re reflecting. This person is reflecting on what they've done. And I think you are too. But I think you're choosing to grow and walk away. 
as opposed to staying in a paradigm you do not want to be in. Because this is your leap of faith. This is your new beginning. And Scorpio, I feel like you're going to choose to grow. And leave those demons in the past. Move on. Could possibly be some travel involved with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords. I would not recommend it for the month of November. If you already have plans, I understand. But for the month of November, November while we go through this change, I would suggest you not get yourself stuck somewhere else away from home. Because that Four of Wands is going to keep you grounded. Okay, like I said, here comes the message. Seventh house is all about marriage and commitments. It's also your spiritual house. So, message of concern, message coming in, possibly from a wealthy man. One three one one. One one three. Wow. One three one one three. So, as I said before, this could be a marriage pr proposal. Somebody's not doing too well. 331, 113, 1311. Wow, there's definitely some serious synchronicities here. Like I said, repeat or evolve. Somebody is going to choose defeat here. There is a marriage proposal on the table. Somebody might not be doing too well. Whether that's mentally, emotionally, spiritually, or physically. I feel like somebody is very weak in their choices right now. And if you are, if that's you, Scorpio, wait until you're more clear-minded before making a decision that will affect you for the rest of your life. And I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying make sure that you are crystal clear with, with, with your decision here. Don't do it from a place of passion. Do it from a place of justice and truth. Here's an engagement ring, wedding rings. Yeah, this is, this is about some kind of a proposal. So this is a commitment and a completion. Somebody is reminiscing about something you gave them and wants to make new memories with you. Cupid's arrow, soulmates, and date. So there will be some kind of shocking attack here. It could be from a third party outside of both of you. Because, okay, so how I'm seeing this now because of these cards is there's this, this third party is possibly not well. And this person has fallen in love with you. They feel like you're their soulmate. And they want to ask you out on a date. But know what you're getting yourself into. Because there might not be any other way out for this person. This person may be married already or in a relationship already. And their partner is not well. So... It's kind of twisted, but it feels like they're waiting on them to die before they make a decision of commitment to you. I hate to even put it like that, but that's how I feel. I, I Seriously, that's how I feel. Scorpio, you are all about transformation, transition. Yeah, 
just said that. Base chakra energy. This is, like I said, this is home. This is feeling secure. This is getting stabilized. Intuition, new beginning, and rejoice and celebration. But as I said before, this is a three-party situation. There are three cups here. Are you going to re choose to repeat what you did three years ago? Or are you going to make this decision from a zero point, your intuition, and choose to transform it and make it into what you need it to be instead of what was at one time? I do feel like you're going to pull your energy away from whoever this person is to see if they are being 100% honest with you. Whether you decide to be with this person or not, they are trying to come from a place of integrity, but I don't think it's possible for them to move out of another situation before coming to you and that is going to be up to you on what you decide of whether you're you're willing to be in this situation or not and and Scorpio I don't see you being in I see you choosing to cut a bitch and walk away and grow let's see what the uh, hidden realms has to say about all this Spiral Dancer and the Queen of the Light. Both allies. Very, very good. Very good. I'm proud of you, Scorpio. You're choosing you. You're choosing your happiness. No matter what this challenge is, you're choosing your happiness. Okay, so this card says... Spiral dancer moves with her own rhythm and steps the music only she can hear. She takes you on a path that is winding and circular. She assures you that your experience, what you experience as a setback is really part of an upward spiral. Perception is everything. You're not retra retracing your steps or going backward, but rather around and up. She says that you can be comforted knowing that your path is one of success, adventure, and experience. Follow her, for she dances along a magical way. If you're asking about a relationship, keep on dancing, and magic will soon happen. Also, it's okay to allow, allow someone else to take the lead at this time. Make sure you let others know that you're open. Always remember that relationships are mirrors, and we'll show you the past, the present, and the potential future. All relationships have a destiny. Each is a sacred teacher and have valuable lessons to share. Even if it appears that the two of you are dancing in different directions, all the steps are perfect, even when you may be stumbling. The spiral dancer is a reminder that destiny's true path is seldom straight. Yeah, my stomach's growling. Just had a bunch of coffee. Coffee, coffee. Alright, the Queen of the Light. Upright. I like that. Okay, illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. So, like I said, Scorpio, I feel like you're growing, you're listening to your intuition, you're getting yourself stable and balanced, and, and you're not letting anybody get in the way of that. You're not letting anybody take you off path, and that's beautiful. It says, the Queen of the Light is a beautiful ally 
and comes into your life to herald success in all your ventures. She illuminates the most important steps on your path and reminds you of your own brilliance. You're intelligent and inspired and all your needs will be met. Remember that you're an instrument of the divine shining through you in this world. You're on the correct path for your highest good. The queen also brings you insight into how, much, how you manifest your reality in the most miraculous ways. She promises that you'll be shown the next right action and celebrates you as you stand brilliant, joyful, and enlightened in the present time. You've worked hard to come this far. You can be proud to stand tall in your conviction that in your heart of hearts you know the truth of your situation. Rewards for your perse perseverance and willingness to learn are on their way. Gratitude and acceptance are key today. That was an awesome read, Scorpio. I'm proud of you. I am so proud of you. You don't even know. Mama Dragon is so proud of her baby dragons. They are choosing to evolve and not to repeat a pattern that they, that they went through three years ago. They're going to be crystal clear about what their choices are now and not look back to what was, but what can be. Regardless of what choice you make here, it'll be the right one. All right? Well, those are your messages, my baby dragons. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye for now.